Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing a skill video, inserting and discontinuing an IV. I'm in the appropriate school attire. My badge is visible. No polish, no boot, no nor jewelry. Alright, my supplies for this video is Mrs. Smith here, her forearm. I have Sydney, the IV needle, IV start kit, extension tubing, and I have two pairs of gloves. Obviously, all these uh, supplies have been manipulated due to practice purposes. Alright, I'm going to come over here in hand hygiene. Follow my gloves. I'm going to get everything set up. Alright, my patient here, Mrs. Smith, is an elderly patient. She came in to get some uh, IV fluids. So, she's going to get a 22 gauge 1 inch needle, like so. Excuse me. All right, next I am going to prime my tubing. I'm going to remove the ends here. Attach. Okay. Remove the other end. Unclamp. And I want to remove all the air bubbles uh, from the tubing here. Maybe wait for one or two drops to come out the end. Okay. I then am going to clamp this and put it aside. All right, I'm going to come to my site here. I want to apply the tourniquet. Okay, when applying the tourniquet, I want to make sure it is uh, four to six inches above the insertion site. So I'm going to use my fingers here. It is at least four inches above the insertion site. I also want to ensure that it's not too tight and that I can feel a distal pulse. I can. Next, I'm going to clean the site using my alcohol swab here, starting at the center, and work my way outward. Okay, dispose. All right, next I'm going to get my needle. Um, when inserting the needle in the patient here, I want to ensure that it's bevel up. I'm then going to come here with my middle finger and anchor the uh, vein about one inch below the insertion site. I'm going to come at the insertion site. I'm going to go in at about 30 degree angle. Like so. Alright. I'm going to observe for flashback. I see flashback. I'm then going to level out and advance further in about one fourth of an inch. Okay. Then I'm going to remove the catheter here. Remove the needle from the catheter. Okay. Anchor the vein. Now. I'm supposed to press this button to withdraw the needle into the plastic tubing here. This is my uh, this is my last needle. I've gone through all of them. They are a pain to reset. So I am not going to um, press the safety mechanism just because this is my last one. But in real world, or technically for this uh, video, I would be pressing this white button. The needle will go into the tubing here, and then um, I would put in my sharps container. It is in my sharps container. I have secured, or I am securing the IV here. I'm going to release the tourniquet. Get my um, saline. I'm going to attach these two ends. Release the clamp. So then I want to draw black. Assess for blood return. I see blood return. I'm going to Push the saline in slowly. All right. Now then I'm going to clamp the tubing. Just like that. There we go. Okay. While stabilizing the IV here, I want to apply my sterile dressing. Um, another item that I can't fully use properly, I guess, is the sterile dressing. I don't want to take the backing off because I only have one. Once you use it, it is no longer usable. So, in the real world, I would take off this backing here and put it over the site. 
when applying the sterile uh, dressing over the site, I want to make sure I don't put it on any part of the extension tubing just in case it needs to be replaced. So I'm going to place it right over here, just up against the extension tubing part. All right. It is on the IV here. I will then um, come on the side here, tape the end part of the extension tubing to my patient's arm. There we go. I will remove this white backing here or the outer part on the uh, sterile dressing, good grief. And then I will remove the, uh, the sticky part on here that has my initials, and I will label everything I need to. So it will say my initials, ES, and then the, uh, the date, time, and the size needle, 22 uh, gauge, 1 inch needle. All right, so everything is set for my patient here. I'm going to dispose, keep that for later use, dispose of all my items. Okay. Remove my gloves, hand hygiene, and leave my patient's room. All right, I love my patient's room. I'm back. I'm going to discontinue the IV. Okay. I have my supplies, my gloves. I'm going to hand hygiene. Supply gloves. I have two gauze and my tape. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to first remove the tape that is on my patient's arm here, slowly and gently. Okay. All right. While uh, stabilizing the IV here, I'm going to slowly remove the dressing, dispose of that. Okay. I'm going to get my gauze here, put it above the associate site while removing the catheter. I want to inspect the end of the catheter here. I need to make sure it's intact. It is. I want to also check for length, one inch. I'm going to dispose of this in my sharps container. All right. I want to um, hold this for 30 seconds. I've held it for 30 seconds. I want to check for uh, no blood. There is no blood. Dispose of that. I'm going to get a new, clean piece of gauze, put it over the insertion site, tape it, and I'm all done. I'm going to check I don't have any supplies. There are none. I'm going to remove my gloves, hand hygiene, and leave my patient's room.